DreAllDay.com. Today, let's talk about speed. Moving with urgency, moving with speed. This is something that I talk about a lot to uh, my audiences uh, internally, outside of just on social media. So if you're ever in any of my worlds, like you're on my email list or in our university, speed of execution is a huge thing for some very practical reasons that all of you, excuse me, will understand when I articulate them, but you might not think about them on a regular basis. But my job is to make you think about them. So I'm bringing them to your consciousness by talking about them right now. First of all, your time is limited. That's the simple, practical reason why you need to be thinking about speed and urgency of execution at all times. Your time is limited. Everyone knows how our time is limited, right? Every human eventually dies. All right, that's the limit on your time. And what happens is sometimes people will look at someone who is relatively, relatively older than them and think, well, I got enough time. I got time because look how old that person is. And I'm far away from them, which means I got at least the amount of time between where I'm at and where they're at to get there. So let's say I'm talking to someone who's 70 years old. The day I'm recording this, I'm 42 years of age. So I talk to somebody who's 70. I'm like, oh, well, I got plenty of time because I got like almost 30 years to get to where that guy's at. Well, first of all, you're not guaranteed to make it to that age. Uh, not everybody makes it to the same numbers. Like Some people die when they're 50 people die when they're 30 so just because someone else is older like your parents for example doesn't mean you're going to make it another 25 or 35 years to get to where they're at they made it there that doesn't mean you're going to make it there first of all secondly what i've heard i've had people who are a lot older than me let's say old enough to be my parents say to me that when you if and when you get to the age that i'm at this is the older person talking to me you will regret all of the wasted time that you are all the time that you are wasting right now so this mindset that some of you have that, oh, well, all these other people are way older than me, so I got time. You'll regret that mindset when you finally get to that age and you realize like, damn, I could have got a whole lot more done 10 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, had I had more urgency about what I was trying to do. Because even if you do make it, even if you do make it to 50, 60, 70, 30, whatever age you are now, even if you do make it to an older age, you're still going to look back and say, damn, there's a lot of stuff I could have got done way before I got here that now I'm getting to. And now you have less time to benefit from it, to execute on it, to utilize it because of the time that got wasted. So this is why you need to be thinking about time overall as much as you possibly can. And a simple way to do this, because the, the whole point here when I'm talking about speed and execution and getting things done it's really how do you make this part of your normal mode of operation, modus operandi or operandi, I don't know which, which one's the problem, I think it's operandi, is just reminding yourself of time, actually putting yourself on the clock when it comes to your activities and your uh, behaviors. Putting yourself on the clock, that one I mean literally. So I just was on Amazon today, and I'm ordering this uh, $49, I think it's 50 to $49.99. $50 clock is a digital clock. I can put it up on my wall in my office and it has a remote control so I can basically turn the timer on. I can turn the stopwatch on. I can turn on the timer. It can count down. It can count up. It can it will give me the date. It'll give me the time, all of that stuff. And the reason that I'm doing that, and I got this, I borrowed the general idea, not this clock specifically, but the general idea of doing something like this from this uh, marketer named Dan Kenny, the older guy. And he talked about how he had clocks all over the place in his home office to remind him of time, to remind him of how much time was passing and that he didn't have an unlimited amount of time left. The same concept that I'm explaining to you here. And he would do it by having clocks all over the place. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have as many clocks as him because I'm just about to get one. But he said he had a bunch. And the whole point was just to keep it conscious for him, keep it uh, top of mind, front and center for him mentally so that he didn't waste time. And what a lot of us do is we're very wasteful of time. When I listen to Napoleon Hill's old lectures, and Napoleon Hill's the guy who wrote Think and Grow Rich, and also one of my top five books called The Law of Success, he talked about how we are very inefficient when it comes to our behaviors, all of us. We're extremely inefficient. We waste a lot of time. We spend way too much time thinking about things. We delay for way too long to actually get to action put way too much space in between 
an idea or a thought or a conclusion and then doing the actual behavior that is allegedly uh, supposed to follow that conclusion. We just we let a lot of time go by and don't get things done the way that we're supposed to get things done. And this is how a lot of life goes by and we don't even realize it because what happens is our biggest expenditure, folks, becomes these small pieces of time that get wasted. See, many people might think, well, the biggest expenditure would be like if you spent five years doing nothing, then you can say, okay, that's five years I didn't do anything. But no, it's not that. It's five minutes here, five minutes there. That happens 20 times a day. That equals to 100 minutes, which is an hour and a half of time. Then you multiply that by you doing that every single day over the course of a year. How much time did you waste? talking several days we're talking months worth of time getting wasted but it happens in these little tiny pockets these little pieces of time to get wasted here and there it's not one big waste of time that happens in one shot there's a bunch of time that gets wasted over small pieces that get added up that we don't even notice it because they're each so small but if it was one big shot of time being wasted, we would notice that, but we don't because of the way that it's set up. So what we have to do is, again, get more conscious and more intentional about the way we're using our time all of the time, all of the time. And the way you do this, folks, is not just uh, telling yourself, well, I got to remember to think about time because that's not going to work. So if you if that was if that was the conclusion I left you with from this video, I wouldn't be serving you. So let me tell you what you actually do. Because being more urgent and being more cognizant of time is a discipline in itself. And all disciplines are results of proper structure. Let me say that again. All disciplines are the results of proper structure. So if you want to be more disciplined at anything in your life, the most important thing you can and need to do is put the proper structure in place that makes the discipline easy. Please take the parking ticket. So one of the things that you can do is what I just told you I did. I bought me a clock. I'm going to put it on the wall in my office where I work so that at any moment when I look up, I'm going to see that clock. I'm going to see the time ticket. I can set the time on it. I can tell myself, all right, I'm going to get through these emails. I got 30 emails I got to get through. I got 15 minutes to get through these 30 emails. And boom, I got the clock. I put the timer on. I got 15 minutes and the timer is ticking down, letting me know how much time I have left to get that done. That's the, that is a example of a structure. I'm not saying you have to do it that way. The whole point is you want to put a structure in place. I have a program called 30 days to discipline where I talk about this. Another one called 25 hours, where it's specifically about time. 30 days to discipline is of course about discipline. The point is you want to put the right structures in place so that any discipline you want to enact in your life, starts to happen naturally and automatically and it's not something that you have to remind yourself and think about all the time so if you have to think about it all the time it's not really going to be a discipline what it is is uh, it's basically a thought which is fine good thinking is good thinking is not a bad thing i'm never going to tell you not to think but if that's all you got it's probably not going to be sustainable uh, you need something that lasts a little bit longer so with all that said folks down below in the description to this video, you see a link to work on your game university. That's the place where I do all my coaching. If you would like to have me as your direct coach, that is the only way that we make it happen. You just go to work on your game university.com. Again, that's where you can get coached by me. We have a four part framework based around mindset, strategy, systems, and accountability. <coughs> I work with people in all different industries, different backgrounds, online businesses, offline businesses. And the reason I'm able to do that is because our frameworks and the things that we teach and the things that we work with people like you on are universal principle based. Uh, these are not based on a specific industry or a specific job, they're based on specific principles that have been tried and true and used. And this is the reason why we have the background that we have. And when you go to that page, you can see testimonials and case studies of people who uh, we have worked with in the past and people we're working with right now. So you know I'm not bluffing. Again, that's work on your game, link down below in the description. Work on your game. Dre, all.